Hey guys, welcome to ShiftCast. You're watching a segment from the full video. If you want to catch the full video, check it out in the live tab of our YouTube channel or on Spotify. Let's get right into it. But let's jump to our next segment, Silence the Doubters. All three of us will select a player or team that we believe will silence any doubters in Split 2's online portion. Does anyone have a player or team in mind that they would like to shout? If yeah, not, I would. Okay. I would. Knock it out. You know, I know I talked about how much I liked Ninjas in Pajamas, but there's one player in Sam that I'd really like to see, um, you know, independent of what I, how I think they're going to perform. I think that they're getting the, the, the public uh, image is starting to turn on them a little bit, and I'd like to see them. I believe they will get back to where they were last season, and that's Rays Bowl. Okay. Mm. Um, I think there was a lot of noise about the CRR Rays Bowl duo last year, that they were this, like, explosive, super fun, the offensive heavy duo that were that were tearing up North America that were a serious contender to win worlds. Um, and I think a few people have started to point the finger at him. Now, I don't know if that's just like the Spanish community because they're trying to ride for their guys and he's the only easy odd man out Spanish wise there when complexity was two Spanish players in a South American. Um, but I also thought he didn't play as well as he did last year. I, I think that there is a, a peak for Rays Bowl, which is just an absolute um he's just dazzling to watch and i didn't i didn't see that as much as I, i'd like to see we saw it a little bit remember that full full oh, field yeah. redirect I remember. The corner yeah it's hard to forget mm. um but you know i think he's been an up and down player his whole career you know they didn't have a great 20 21 22 after they made the first major um they didn't have a great first split in 22 23 um and i think you know he goes up and down but i think the pendulum is about to swing back um you know complexity has always done really well to just you know respond to pressure respond to to the moments where people kind of count them out uh including myself apparently and i think um i think i want to see Ray's bull do well again i think that the league is more fun when he's great i think him and yan have almost always been elite at like different times and i'd love to see them just like peak of their powers yeah. potentially the two sam goats just go at it um yeah i, I i'm 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 calling out Rays Bull. You better do better because I, I need to see you back in your prime. And it's so fun to see a South American player not from Brazil being at that yeah. level. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I mean, uh, I have a coach, but I, I'll stick with a player because that makes more sense. So my pick is Radezin. Um, Very nice. And I'm challenging Radozin's power through, or I'm challenging... Very big power through that as well, because I think a lot of the doubt that there is around Radozen on Vitality comes from their play style, comes from the way they tackle their opponents. And because he's not the most mechanical player on the team and he never wants, he never tries to be because he has got Zen on his team. Yeah. If you're trying to be more mechanical than Zen, but your, your name is Radozen, what are you doing? You know? So, they need to figure out how to beat the other European teams, the other Francophone teams with the players they have, with the skills they have, with the strength they have. And that's something that Fairy Peak needs to figure out together with the team. And I think they've shown that they can do that, that they, online they started out, well, pretty slow through the 2024. And they still made it into the grand finals by the time the third regional rolled around. So I think a lot of people are still pretty down on Radozin and on Vitality as a whole because of him. Um, you know, his own goals are now his signature. And I, I think that's unfair. I think there's a lot more to him and a, there's a lot more to this team. And I'm completely going against all the Crap, we've talked about these teams before, but I needed to say that I didn't mean that. And I think actually Radezen has a, a, a good chance of proving the doubters wrong mm. in, in, the, in the upcoming split. All right. There's two paths here. One is the very obvious path I could go of, you know, let's go oxygen. Let's go. Um, and, and I'm not going to do that. I do think that... One player in specific on the team, Archie, he's getting a lot of fingers pointed at him. Um, there's some, you know, very hate-filled takes. There's some that are, like, valid concerns because, let's be honest, I, I do think that Joyo and, and Oski are rated higher. 
Um, and even I said it myself earlier, I think he's going to have to be on board or on his A game for, for them to do what they need to do. But I'm going to go with Mady. M80. I think, um, again, it's just such a talented roster. I, I know that we, especially all of us fans, we fantasize or romanticize is a better word for it, um, of teamwork, of not mechanics being what takes you to victory. You know, we want communication and we want leadership and we want all these awesome qualities in a person or a, a competitor or a team to be what elevates your team's performance to the next level. But we've seen it over and over and over and over again. You've got to be talented. You've got to be, you've got to have a, the full package now, right? You can't just be one or the other. And I think the M80 team had the talent and they were missing out on some of these other intangibles, some of these things that they maybe just hadn't worked out yet. But I think it's in there. I think we have seen Jorias show it at times on different squads. We've seen AJ show it at times on different squads. And now they've never gotten to that full, uh, full power. But this could be what they need. I think there is um, a little bit less pressure on this squad. I think it is hopefully a, an environment where they're enjoying playing with one another. Um, I love what M80 has done as an org you know, grabbing some different players that they think have high potential, but maybe, you know, NASA's has unproven. Um, so, you know, kind of putting their faith as an org in those players. I like that. And I do, I just, I, I believe that they, it is, it's there for the taking, right? And if they are hungry, I think they can, they can grab that third, fourth spot in North America. And, and who knows, maybe even, maybe even a second seat or something. Um, they've beaten Gen G before. Who's to say they can't do it again? So I think M80 is going to show everybody this split, what they're all about. Well, I've been burned on this exact segment by Joris the first time we ever did it. So hopefully he uh, listens to you because he damn sure did not listen to me. <laughs> Thank you all for watching ShiftCast. If you want to catch some more episodes, you can do so right here on this YouTube channel or on Spotify. We'll catch you next time.